Hey, it's Random Code here, and this is gonna be the next video in my full stack application series. And in this video, I'm gonna go through my database setup and discuss the basic structure of which project I actually want to create. So, firstly, I wanna create a user admin dashboard where we can have some kind of list of users where we can then add a user, remove a user, and update a user. And to then contain the users, contain all this information, we're going to be using a database. And the database I have chosen, as mentioned in my last video about the stack, is going to be MySQL. We're then going to be using Docker to set up a MySQL local server, where we then create a basic structure for our data. So first, I'm just going to go through my Docker file. I'm then going to show the SQL for this, this data structure we're going to have, which is at first going to be very simple. And we're then going to run it to showcase it works. And then in the next video, I'll probably connect this database to my backend, which is going to be Spring Boot. But firstly, inside my Docker file, I'm running from a MySQL version 8. I'm setting an environment variable for my SQL root password, which means we're going to be using the root user with this password, which probably isn't the best. We probably should or could create a new user, which have some specified access rights. But this is fine for what we're going to be do, using it for. We then copy a data.sql file, which is going to be a script setting up the basic database structure into the Docker entry point initialize db, which then going to run this file, run this folder, everything in this folder, to then start. Let me just showcase what we're actually creating. So inside our data.sql, we're just running some basic SQL script, which is first going to be creating a database user management, we're then going to be using this database. I'm then going to be creating a user's table, which is going to have an ID, which is going to be also incrementing. So it's going to start at one, I think, and then keep going up every time we add a user. Our users is then also just very simply going to have a name, an email, and a status. And the ID is going to be our primary key. So then also just have some basic data in our database. I just added a simple user called Hans. When developing like a full stack application like this, I prefer to use the Docker Post setup instead of just running my Docker file manually. And let me next just showcase how easily you can actually have it running. So I'm inside my user's dashboard folder. And um, then let's actually first just do it manually. So I just cd into my, my database. I would do Docker build, let's call it database of my position. It should then be building relatively fast and there we go so now we should be able to docker images we now have a database image we can then do docker run database and it's then actually going to be quite fast i think as we can see here we get some output from our database and initialization has started and if we then open a new terminal Docker PS, we can see we now have a running Docker container and it's actually having some ports, which is 3006, which is the main port from our MySQL container. But let's actually just interact with this container. So I can do Docker exec dash interact, give it the container ID, and we would like to run slash bin slash bash. As we can see here, we now get a bash terminal inside and we can then do my SQL dash P for password at our password, which was password and dash U for user and at root. We're then welcome to MySQL and we now actually can access MySQL directly. So now we're actually inside our database. So I'll simply just do show databases to see all the databases we have and actually ensure that our user management database have been created. I will then use my user management database. We can then do show tables. See if we have any tables in this database and we do, we have the users table. We can then 
do as we would do with any other normal database. We can select star, select all from users. And you can see here we have an ID of one, we have Hans, and we have his email and his status. So as we can see, it's actually working and it's very simple. And we then still inside this container have this running database. We would then like to exit out, exit out. I actually like to stop it again. So I would simply do docker yes, docker remove dash false because it's a running container. Give it the ID and it's then stopped. So now let's have a look at this setup for docker compose. So inside that docker compose file, we just simply define some services. For now, we only have a database service. It's going to be building from our current position and then take the Docker file inside our database folder. We're going to have a restart always, which I think is nice to have, at least on databases. And we're then going to be exposing from port 3306 inside the container to 3306 on localhost in this case. So we now at the position of just use the dashboard. We have our Docker Compose YAML. We can then simply do Docker Compose off. And for now, this is more or less the same as doing docker build and docker run but later on when we have both a database a back end and a front end being able to run everything at the same time is actually quite nice so as you can see here on port we can see my scale community server so now if we just clear it in here we can then once again do docker ps and we can now see once again we have a container running and for now, it's going to be exposing port 3306 on localhost. And we could technically jump into the container once again and see the same thing as before, that we have this basic setup from our data.sql. But for now, this allows us to actually have a running backend with a MySQL server with a basic structure of a single table. In the next video, we will then set up a Spring Boot application which then can connect to this table and we can then do some basic interactions where we can insert, update and delete. So for now, this is the first step in my full application project. And I will put this entire project on GitHub and then update it when we upload new videos. So I hope you enjoyed this showcase, or this first showcase of our database structure. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.